So think back um, to all the self-reg you've done about secondary altruciality, how, you know, you had to have something to replace the umbilical cord, and that something is the interbrain. And this is a limbic to limbic connection formed between the baby and caregiver. But it turns out that that limbic connection is always with us. We always have... Um, for better or for worse, we always have this limbic, limbic connection between ourselves and a, another person, a friend or a stranger or a crowd. Now, what happens in limbic contagion is that um, if I'm feeling anxious, uh, it doesn't really matter what I say, my anxiety is transmitted through the interbrain. It goes from my limbic system to your limbic system. And you know, I'm giving you survival examples, but we can reverse this and we can look at the positive role of limbic contagion. So the mother feels loved, the child feels loved. Uh, the mother is calm, the child is calm. I um, you know, uh, think of all the great inspirational uh, speakers who talk about the power of love or the power of kindness, the power of empathy, they're really talking about limbic contagion. What I'm feeling is transmitted and can transform what someone else is feeling. So that's what limbic contagion is all about.